Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. Was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. Dango Rampa has excellent blood, music, right? man. Not gonna lie. So it must be Ibuki's blood. I mean, wait, what did I? Well, Ibu I Ibuki stepped on Hyoko's blood. Whatever I just said. Right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood, it means Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. And she saw the murder. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. What the hell? Gundam, you acting kind of suspicious kid, right now, bro. Dressed in his Sunday's finest, still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? No <laughs> word, right? You like you, rebuttal? you're not even speaking English right now. But are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed. You know. You're so Good luck with that. You can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. I mean, if you say so. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyo- Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just a see a nice nightmare. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Allow me to cut through those words. And we're gonna have to put an end to that, baby. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Sorry, man, but you messing with the regular Sherlock Holmes today, don't say man. Such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. There was yes, blood. I did. Yeah, I do. What are you talking about, she guy? There's a streak on the floor where blood was. Wiped. I don't know, man. You're acting kind of suspicious right now, homie G. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but. Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe that feeder was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us, Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? I don't think so. Then well, it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. Agreed. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine. Gundam, can but you stop speaking? Good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just <sighs> shut up and back off? Thank you, Kazuichi. Now then, let us resume our debate. Never mind. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. What's that? Huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Well, Nakito hey, does run important stuff suicide, by Monokuma. What are we supposed to do? 
The same as always, you have to vote for who the killer is. Think about it. A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all, yourself. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Wow. Okay, so um, I would have Nagato? to... We would what have to pick mean? a Buki? The victim actually committed suicide. We well, would have to pick I mean, a Buki as the killer. Yoko's death. I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. Yes, but... but... If Ibuki's the killer... She wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? And after why cover it up if she's body, the killer and the if she was going to commit Yoko's suicide? Body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself. Remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. Yo, my brain is being destroyed right now. To fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What? Nagito, what the please! There's still one more issue on my mind. And what's that? If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? I think it was a fake. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Sonia? Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it has some kind of sweet recording feature. Are you sure about that, Kazuichi? Then, the video Hajime saw was actually right? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Yoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. We can exclude the sick people like me and...
And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the... Right before the morning, I was totally sleeping in my... I think everyone... So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Wait, what? Crap! We can exclude the sick people. Like I was wondering. Call. I was wondering the right there if I had to like agree with them. Right All right, so this Alfred. is. Hmm. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the right, motel so... doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? All right, let me look for the contradiction here. I was here. where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. We can exclude the sick. And what about the right before them? I was totally asleep. I think everyone. So everyone is. What about you guys? I was wrong. I, I think it's the last one. So. But I don't know if it's Mikan's account or Fuyuhiko's account. Nobody has an alibi. Okay. I'll take it. <clears throat> Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact. Mikan and I both have alibis. You... you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning! Alright, look! Hey. Look! Whoa! I look! It's... Mikan, shut up! Too much info. Word! Not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right Yo, you mess up Mikan, you messing up my Chiaki situation. I like I don't appreciate that at us. all. But oh my the gosh. Case. The killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process? Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence.
Probably. Oh my gosh, are we really doing a tri- Ah! Uh, dude, I was just- My brain was just like, cooking up some theories, man! Can we not talk about moss balls? Can we- can we not do this right now? <laughs> Red-headed stepchild. Yo, nobody cares about your magical miracle girl now. Can you please just get out of my face, man? I want to freaking solve this case. Yeah, I'm getting pretty triggered right now. Like, See, get out of my face! Like I want to solve the case. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No, this definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Remember what? Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Anyway. Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self -made. Nagito, can you stop saying smart stuff and then That's doing free and then being the Nagito? It would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the invitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. But did they know that? The rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! <laughs> shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, man. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. I'm mad because that he's right, like, like the movie most did? of the time! It's because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. I mean, they couldn't actually find arrows, Maybe could they? they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. What do you if mean? falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Um... I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? Well, I know the answer to that. 
So, you're saying the truth behind Gyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Well, I already know the answer to that question. summoned her if that's not it maybe she got abducted by the killer no maybe she went of her own free will or she was guided by the will of causality shut up Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it. None of these. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Wait, what? She was guided by the will of causality. Well, I have to agree with one of them, so. Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not, maybe she got a no. Maybe she went of her own free will. Okay. I agree with that. It's just as Sonia said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of And the then the killer you know? the killer found her when the killer was trying to I kill Ibuki, so Yoko was collateral. Is that about right? There's no <sighs> way she got abducted. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... Is somebody gonna have a rebuttal here? Oh gosh, come on, for real? Are you saying my gut was wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because I'm more interested in finding the real freaking killer here. Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Oh my gosh, here we go. Yoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! Oh, so oh my gosh! And that's why the killer targeted her. Advance! The room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! How many advances do I need? Akane, shut up and let us solve this damn case! Shut your mouth! 
try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. Oh. Wrong one. Crap. Oh no, am I gonna go back? Hold on. Try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono is only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Allow me to cut through those words. Kyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's like also the reason for why real. She to go out on her own. Leave this case to the smart people, including Yoko's Nagito, unfortunately. If he would like stop doing that stupid annoying that Nagito thing that he does, then he would be like a hundred percent useful. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use Yeah, it. but you admitting that, doesn't that kind of implicate you as well, though? Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Hajime, now's um, your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Kazuichi! Yeah, I'm yeah. good, bro. The I'm good. I probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonia, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet under. Cretin! <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Guys, guys, behave! Hey, Get a room! For sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. Co coincidence? I think she was collateral. She might have saw the... When she went to the venue yep. by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed, so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed a hemp bag over her head, and without hesitation... ...killed Hiyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? This is so confusing. Damn, we don't know the most important part. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? I'm sure he does. Oh, <laughs> quiet? You said shut up forever! Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. Oh, Nagito, shut up and say what we I need was you to about say. It while I had my mouth shut, but now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Oh, thanks. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. Okay. But now I remember, there was blood on Ibuki's slippers. 
So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. That's what I'm saying! Uh, really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. Dude, I can't. That's strange. It's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? Nagito is trolling. That this is the real reason he brought it up. Is it the stepladder? I can prove it with this. If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? No, there weren't. And I'm kind of annoyed because now I have to go to work. Oh gosh, this is so wonderful. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys know when I upload the next one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.